Hello, it is the 24th Tuesday after Pentecost, and our reading today is out of Matthew chapter 13, verses 44 to 52. We have a series of short parables in which Jesus begins to draw more pictures of what the kingdom of heaven is like. And that's what these parables say, as many of his parables do. The kingdom of heaven is like this or like that. And so we have it as a treasure. We have it as a pearl of great price. We have it as a net being cast out and gathering in fish. All of these are images that help us understand a bit about the kingdom. And then he says that a a scribe of the kingdom will bring out of his storehouse treasures new and old. And so we have to remember that Jesus is not down on scribes. Jesus is not down on scholarship. But it's those scribes that are scribes of the kingdom. It was the scribes that were opposing his messiahship to whom he was opposed and to whom he was preaching. But being a scribe is a good thing. Jesus is expecting that there will be those who will search out and develop teaching from Jesus' teaching. He is expecting that there will be those who will be able to present things in a good and orderly and sound fashion. So there will be scribes of the kingdom. And so we we have to remember that Jesus is not anti-intellectual. So much of our Protestant Christianity, so much especially of charismatic and Pentecostal uh, Protestant Christianity, can be anti-intellectual, can think that there's some sort of benefit in not being that scholarly. But that's not true. Even the unlearned fishermen, you know, that the the Jewish leaders made fun of, actually had sat at the feet of Jesus for three years. They sat at the feet of God himself. That's quite a seminary for three years. You know, when God was preparing to have the New Testament written, most of it was written by St. Paul, a great scholar of his day. So we have to remember, remember that there's an important role to be played in being a scribe of the kingdom. So don't don't despise scholarly learning. Don't despise scholarly writing if it's writing of the kingdom and supports Jesus as the Messiah. I want to encourage you with that word today, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.